We've got a tabby case this morning. It's an 88-year-old lady. This lady has got a condition called aortic stenosis. And aortic stenosis is a very common condition where the, the main valve at the top of the heart, the aortic valve, yeah. as a result of age and wear and tear, becomes rigid, yeah. stiff, and immobile. Yeah. And the only treatment is to replace the valve. So TAVI was developed about 20 years ago. Uh, what it enables is delivery and deployment of a valve through uh, an incision or a tube that's introduced into groin artery. 90% of cases are done under local anaesthetic and sedation like the case today. And before TAVI, the only option for these patients was to undergo major cardiac surgery. The valves that are used, they are mounted on a sophisticated frame. The nurses or the technicians are effectively preparing that prosthesis onto the catheter and crimping it down. We then pull back the covering, which enables this cylindrical wrapped down stent to self-expand. And as it releases and regains a cylindrical shape, the valve which is in it opens up and it starts to work straight away. At the Harley Street Clinic, we did 120 tabbies in 2021, but across sites, the Wellington and London Bridge Hospital, we've done about 500. We work together as a team and we rely on each other. It's the outcomes that we get that makes this job so enjoyable. What TAVI has done, I think, within cardiology more than anything else, is to bring cardiologists and surgeons together so that we work as a team. So we run multidisciplinary meetings where every case is discussed in a group. We've got an amazing cardiac and cardiothoracic ITU with 24-7 support. And really what that provides is a huge safety net. So yeah, it was, it was great. We had a great result. It all went according to plan. It was smooth. As you can see, it lasted about less than an hour. And this lady will go to the ward straight after this. She'll be sitting up having a cup of tea in the next half an hour. And the discharge from hospital is within two days. This procedure is a real game changer. Before Tabby, this lady would have been left on tablets with about six to 12 months life expectancy. And now she can lead a fulfilled life many years ahead.